Okay, so this video is about conditional formatting using a formula. So we'll be using conditional formatting uh, in not very basic ways, but a little more advanced ways. So one of the basic conditional formattings you may want to do is uh, highlight all uh, the costs for your products that are above a certain amount. So everything that's above $100, maybe you want to highlight them. So uh, the way you do it, usually, because this is a simple task, you go under format, conditional formatting, and after I highlighted it, right? So I'm going to pick a rule here, and I'm going to say if it's greater than 100, pick the color. So here you choose the formatting and we can see how everything is highlighted in this color. Now, uh, which is our basic conditional formatting. So that's easy to do. Now, what if we have a little different situation? Now, we still want to check the same thing. We want to check if the cost is above $100. But what we're trying to highlight is the product name. So if the product cost is above $100, like in this case, we would like this to be a different color. All right, so we can use, we can do this using a formula. So the first thing we have to do is create the formula. So you can make it anywhere you like, but usually it's uh, the easiest to make it right next to your data and then we'll just remove it. Once, this we're, once we're done, we'll just remove this entire column. So I'm gonna start with an equal sign and I need a logical test. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to ask if this, which is in the two, is greater than 100. And that gets me true. So if I send this down, now everything that's above 100 is getting a true and everything else is getting a false. This is what we call a logical test. We're asking if the content of the cell is greater than the number we have. Now, uh, the cool thing about this is that uh, when you get trues or falses, you can use this for conditional formatting. So if you can come up with a formula that will get you true or get you false, you can use this for conditional formatting. And whatever gets you true is going to color the cell. Whatever gets you false is not going to color the cell. Now in this case, everything that's true is going to get colored. Now, what I need to do at this point, I have to grab my formula that gets me my trues or falses. So I'm I'm highlighting the first one on top, which is in our second row. So I'll go ahead and copy this. Escape out of this. I don't want to change anything here. Now I'll go ahead and highlight all the product names because that's what I want to conditionally format. Go under Format, Conditional Formatting. And here, as Format Cells F, I'm going to change it all the way down to Custom Formula. And I'll go ahead and paste my formula right there that I had, pick my formatting, whatever that's going to be. Up to you, you can obviously change a custom format. So I'll go ahead and hit done. And that colors our cells if they're greater than 100. Now again, this is not tied to this formula, so we're just doing this to help us out. We don't need it. I can just delete that data altogether. And now you can see how we get this highlighted in red when something happens in a different column. So for example, if I go ahead and change this cost to 120, this is automatically red because, well, the condition of formatting is dynamic, so that's the way it works. So that's how you can highlight something based on something that happens in a different cell. Now let's take this this to the next level. So that was something very basic with it. So now let's move to this expense tab. So in this tab, we have some expenses and we have some projected amounts for those expenses. And then we have some actual amounts for those expenses. So now what we're trying to do, we're going to highlight a number if our actual is greater than projected. So if we spent more than we 
uh, projected for it, we want to highlight that in red. So the first thing we're going to do, I'm uh, going to just create a formula. Now we're going to actually highlight the actual numbers if they're greater, that's what we're targeting. We could highlight really anything we wanted, but right now actual, I guess, makes the most sense because if the actual is higher, we want to see, we want to be aware. So we're going to start with an equal sign. So again, we have to create a logical test that will output true or false. So how can we do that? So if the actual, which is my C2 cell content, if it's greater than B2, which is this, if the actual is greater than projected, we would like to know about it. So that's my logical test. I'm going to hit enter. I'm getting a false because it's not greater, right? So I'm going to double click to send this down. So you can see false, false, false. This one, the actual is higher than the projected. So true, true, false, true, true, true. So now we can use that for conditional formatting. We're probably not going to do this one, although we could have done that one as well. So here we are. So now we have our logical test. Again, I'm going to go get the first formula. I'm going to copy the whole thing, including the equal sign escape out of this. Now I'm going to highlight. And by the way, the way you highlight matters. So you want to make sure you highlight from because I'm grabbing the first formula, I want to make sure I highlight from top down. And this way the active cell stands on top, which is on the same level where my first formula was. So great, I've highlighted all those actual numbers. I'm going to go under format, conditional formatting, format cells if we'll switch this to custom formula is and paste our formula right there. Switch this to a different formatting. That seems to be fine. So, and go ahead and hit done. Now I don't need this column as usual. You just get rid of it. Now we can see right away if our actual amounts are greater than our projected amounts. Just like that. Again, using a logical test. Now we could have used the same formula to highlight the actual amounts here. So uh, if I go under format, conditional formatting, I think I still have it copied. So we'll see. So I'll go ahead and cause the formula is try to paste my formula. Okay, great. So we did have it copied. So I'll do this, maybe change the formatting to something different. I don't know, whatever that's going to be. Doesn't matter. Now the formatting class. Now we'll go ahead and highlight that. So now we have this also highlighting as our amounts are higher than our projected amounts. Now, if it's not higher, let's say the maintenance turned out to be 399. See, there's no formatting. So 400 should still not format because it equals to. Now, anything above 400 will get our conditional formatting, which is because it's higher than projected. So we get that. So that's the way you can uh, do this. Now let's take it to another level. I'm going to go to this second one. Let's try to make it a little more complicated. So let's say we want to know every time the actual amount is 5% greater or less than the amount that we projected. Okay. So uh, first of all, let's make this dynamic. So I'm going to go ahead and type 5% right there on top. So this way we'll be able to change this value as we need it. Let me use this paint format to copy the formatting from here. So I'm going to click here, actual paint brush, click on this one. So that will give you green color. I still have to change this to percentage. So I'll go under this number formatting, make it a percent formatting. So 5%. Great. Now that's what we're going to use. Now we want to make sure that we every time uh, it's 5% uh, 
uh, greater than this number, we want to be aware of it, right? Or 5% less for that matter. So the first thing we'll have to do is figure out how do we calculate the percent difference between the actual and the projected. Our formula is going to be equals. So I'm going to start with the parentheses. So it's going to be the actual amount minus the projected amount, close the parentheses, and whatever I get as a result, I want to divide it by our projected amount. That's going to be our percent change or percent difference. Let's put it this way. So again, the actual minus projected divided by projected. Hit enter, 0%, obviously 7,000, 7,000, there was no difference. So now I can go ahead and double click and send this down and we can see differences in our percentages. So for example, we spend uh, negative 5.71, basically 5.71% less than our projected amount. And in this case, we spent 18% more than our projected amount and so on, right? So uh, at this point, now the test that we have in our hand is that this is the percent difference. Now we want to know when this difference is either higher than 5% or less than 5% than we projected. So first of all, to make that negative positive thing that we have going on, I'm going to first convert all this to absolute value. Now I'm going to do that using the ABS function and put this whole thing inside of the ABS function, which will convert all of those to absolute values. So let's send this down. There it is. So negatives will become positive now. Great. So now that we have this, uh, the next thing we want to do is to check if this is greater than this 5% that we've defined or not. So this is the entire thing. So after the result, I'm going to ask, is this greater than this 5%? And because this 5% is on top and I want to be able to copy this formula down without this 5% moving down together with my formula because it's stuck on this top cell. I want to lock it hitting F4, which will add my dollar sign locks for my D1 cell. And I hit enter, it says false. It's not greater than 5% difference. Now this one it is greater than 5%. Now this is not. This is greater, this is greater, it's not greater, this is not, and so on. And the total is not greater than 5% difference. So now we've made our logical test which gets us our trues or falses. Now all we have to do, as usual, just go ahead and copy our entire logical test. Hit escape, right? So now uh, I want to highlight the actual numbers if they are greater or less than that percentage amount we've decided. So I'm going to do conditional formatting. Again, use a formula, custom formula, paste our formula there. And let's give it some sort of color. I don't know, maybe I'll change the text color as well. Uh, maybe lighter background. There we are. So I'm going to go ahead and click done. That's our conditional formatting. Now I don't need these. So I'm going to clear that because our formula is still going to work. Now, uh, the cool thing about this, we tied this now to the cell on top. So what that means is that now maybe we decided that we want to get uh, this alert every time something is a more than 10% difference rather than 5%. So all I have to do is just switch this to 10% and now dynamically updates. So now if the difference is uh, 10 uh, over 10% more or 10 uh, over 10% less, 
then it's going to highlight in red. So that's what we get. Now I can also switch to 1% where we're going to get more highlights of differences and so on. So this way we can use conditional formatting. We can also tie our formatting to another cell value that as we're changing that cell value, our actual formatting is changing based on that. So that's a few ways to use conditional formatting with a formula that should give you at least the basics of how you can accomplish that. And that's it for this class.